Regardless of how one views the Chinese Communist Party and the Chinese Revolution, Mao Zedong is, for many Chinese, the man who liberated China and laid the foundation for today's great power. Mao Zedong is the legacy of 20th century China. Mao Zedong is always a topic very emotional, not only like a symbolic one. When we talk about 20th century China, it's not possible not to talk about the Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong's importance is reflected in the Chinese Communist Party's ideology, as well as on the Chinese UN banknotes. Everyone who visits Tiananmen Square in Beijing can see the large Mao portrait above the entrance to the Forbidden City, where it has hung since 1949. Up until a few years ago, it was a secret who had actually painted the portrait. This great leader is Mao Zedong. It's like this. Because in the Soviet era, we all learned Mao Zedong's painting. We also admired Mao Zedong himself. So this is a very humble attitude to this picture. Wang Qijiu was Mao's portraitist for 27 years, a task he inherited from his father. Twice a year, the portrait is exchanged for a new one, and it is still Wang Qijiu who decides what the portrait will look like. At the time, the Chinese Museum had a painter, Wei Ren Xiao Xiao, who was working on the painter. He was working on the painter of Wei Ren Xiao Xiao. 最早的画的时候，就是没有一个，呃，应该画多大，没有一个标准。所以五十年代初，我们就和在张真士老师的带领下，我们一起研究的，所以定这个，呃，头毛主席头像的这个画了几个样子，画了有一个大一点的，有一个小一点的草稿。我们最后决定了一个特大广场啊，需要就这个角度最合适。他是那时候戴着帽子，就是戴着那个八角帽的那个。这文革期间没有什么太大的波动，因为我是画毛主席像，所以是一般的都我还是比较尊敬的。但是也也担心，担心有一个什么问题就是。万一要是画的颜色要不够红，这个要是红卫兵要是找你的麻烦，可就这就不好说了。毛主席这个像啊，是挂在这个国旗跟党旗的旁边，中间画一个毛主席像，所以一看这红旗，你这个脸啊必须画红一点，要不红啊，那可就。不好说了，这这事儿，红红卫兵没准就遭一点吧，也担着心。It was not just Mao's portraitist who was frightened by the Cultural Revolution and its strongest symbol, the Red Guards, Mao Zedong's protégés. The Cultural Revolution was Mao Zedong's ultimate political campaign. It began in 1966 and ended with his death in 1976. Mao Zedong's leadership is not called into question as much as his actions are. This is particularly true for the Great Leap Forward at the end of the 1950s. It was intended to rapidly industrialize China, but led instead to the deaths of between 30 and 50 million people from starvation and hardships. This also applies to the Cultural Revolution. Well, there are many reasons for the happening of the Cultural Revolution, of course not. But even today...